Sadio Mane has informed his Liverpool teammates that he will leave Merseyside, Anfield, Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool this summer. This comes as a blow after the bitterly disappointing Champions League defeat to Real Madrid and, of course, missing out on the Premier League title to Manchester City. But what next for Liverpool? What will they do to respond after losing one of the greatest attackers in their Premier League history. We're also going to talk, be talking about Chiuameni. He's moved to Real Madrid as intensified this afternoon. Liverpool and Man United both reportedly looking at Gavi. Gnabry to Arsenal, of course, with Mane linked with a big move to Bayern Munich. Could that open the door there? Perisic to Tottenham is pretty much done and dusted and over the line. Hit that like and that share button. Subscribe to the Football Terrace, an evening edition of the Done Deal Show. Let's do this. Liverpool legend Sadio Mane has told his teammates that he is leaving the club this summer following their Champions League final defeat against Real Madrid. Now, as mentioned at the top, this, this is one of the most successful, the most prolific Liverpool attackers in the history of the Premier League. Listen, Robbie Fowler, Steve McManaman, Luis Suarez... Fernando Torres, they all achieved brilliant things, great records. Of course, they're, they're renowned and loved by the fans. But the Sadio Mane's, the Firmino's, the Mo Salah's, Champions League, League Cup, FA Cup, Premier League, Super Cup, World Club Championship. They have achieved things that nobody in the 90s, nobody in the in the, in the noughties, nobody in the teenies had achieved up until them. But this day was always going to come. The day was always going to arrive where some of these stars leave, some of these stars become too old, some of these players look to move on. And it appears to be that of Sadio Mane, one of the best attacking players, as I mentioned, in Liverpool's Premier League history. And you know what? A lot of people put him into the conversation already with the, the best left-sided attackers in the league. And I think he's certainly in that conversation, of course, with the Pirezes and the Mark Overmars and the Eden Hazards of this world. Of course, all fighting at the bit to be sort of placed in front of the, the quality of Ryan Giggs on that left-hand side. Of course, all their roles slightly differed, but they're all in that mix, irrespective of which one you think comes out on top. But he is said to want to leave. He is looking to move on from Liverpool. And I suppose the big question is, is what are Liverpool going to do to respond? We all kind of knew this was coming. It was spoken about regularly. It was discussed regularly. We all kind of knew this was on the horizon in the past few days. We all knew this was going to happen to that famous front three. But how do Liverpool respond? What do Liverpool do? Legitimately, what do they do from this point? Do they go young do they go big how do the, how do they essentially react to this that's the big question that is the big question that i think has to be looked at and addressed in many ways is what what do they do next what is the response because what we do know and this has been confirmed by a number of credible people they tried to sign Mbappe. Mbappe confirmed that himself, came from the man's mouth. They've, of course, been looking at Chiuameni. We're going to touch on that deal a little bit later. Not a striker, but he's a potent, powerful player. There's reports of Darwin Nunes. There's a big link from the Anfield rap of Mohamed Salah. What is the response going to be? And the response needs to be big. And I'll tell you why this response needs to be big. And I say that because, look, this is a massive football club. FA Cup and League Cup parade. Look at the size of it. Some clubs win league titles and don't get one fraction of that. Love or loathe Liverpool, they are a gargantuan and massive football club. You cannot get yourself away from that. But Man City have just bought Haaland. 
Liverpool Football Club need to respond and they need to respond big. Liverpool Football Club needs to come out of their shell and they need to act. Now, there's a number of links. As we mentioned already, too many. We'll touch on that in a minute. There's one here that Man United and Liverpool are paying close attention to Gary's contract situation at Barcelona. The 17-year-old is stalled. Again, 17-year-olds, 21, 22-year-olds in Chiuameni. But what the Liverpool fans want in terms of attackers? What do Liverpool do in terms of attackers? Jota and Luis Diaz are brilliant. They need to replace Mane, and I think they've got to go big. I think they need to buy somebody potent, somebody ready-made, somebody that is... Is I'm going to go back to it. I'm sorry to say it. They have got to go to Tottenham and break the bank for Harry Kane. That's the only player that one will replace Mane with ample quality and be able to allow them to compete with Man City. And I'm going to tell you why it's important. And I'm right on this. It's important because... Eight defeats in 12 finals for Jurgen Klopp. That's career-wise, but a lot of them at Liverpool. He's been in two title races and missed out each time. The Klopp versus Pep era is on and Klopp needs to win. Liverpool Football Club in the cold, hard light of day. And I don't expect any Liverpool fan to admit to this. Trophies are the only commodity that you deal, deal in. And even a player like Darwin Nunes, who's touted of being potentially great, he ain't proven, least of all, uh, European or, uh, I'm talking European Cup level, pre Champions League level or Premier League level. He's not tested at La Liga level or Serie A or Bundesliga. This, he ain't there yet. He ain't there yet. Harry Kane, for me, is the answer. That's who they've got to go for. That's who they've got to move to, in my very humble opinion. But look, I want your thoughts and I want your feelings on that. Leave us your comments below right now. Mane leaving. Who should the replacement be? Now, another big link to Liverpool and Chelsea Football Club is the supposedly Real Madrid-bound Chiuameni. It said that there's been new contacts in the last hours. This was posted around three o'clock this afternoon. So make of that what you will. They want to secure the deal now with the transfer fee only the only missing part. Now, what's very intriguing about this to me is that they have been made the front runners for a while now. I don't think anybody would deny that. I don't think anybody would, would, would claim anything different. Real Madrid have been the front runners for a while. But what has been reported by a number of very, very credible outlets over the course of the past few days is that Liverpool, Chelsea, and a number of others are looking to get involved again, are looking to throw their hat into the mix again. We'll go big. This is the week for Liverpool to go big, according to a number of outlets and a number of sources last week. But with Real Madrid picking up that fifth Champions League in the past sort of seven or eight years, 2014 was the first one. So what we're looking at there? Yeah, eight years. Is it too good an opportunity to, to turn down? A team in transition doing a Champions League and domestic league double is huge. But Chelsea and Liverpool have got to respond, in my opinion. They've got to come out. I don't want, I'm not going to say out of their holes, but they've got to come out. We're already seeing Spurs do great business with Perisic coming in and Bastoni on the edge of what is reported to be a successful bid. Chelsea, we want to mention Man City, sorry, signing Harlan, heavily linked to Kukurea, a left back. Liverpool have got to respond. Chelsea have got to start motoring. We may only be right now when I'm recording this on the 29th of May, but teams are acting fast. Big money is already being exchanged. And I just think they need to get something, as I say, motoring forward at this moment in time. I think that's very, very important indeed. I really, really do. Now, interestingly, another story that's kind of posed itself in the last day or so has kind of got a connection to Mane in Liverpool. And that's Serge Gnabry to Arsenal. In fact, it's trending right now, as you can see. We've got the trend up here of Gnabry to Arsenal. You kind of search down, and some of it, there's 
uh, sort of official links. A lot of it is sometimes just individuals asking for it. A lot of Arsenal fans, you see a great graphic there, um, really want Serge Gnabry at Arsenal. Now, the question I've got, do Arsenal fans think this is actually realistic? Will Serge Gnabry, at this stage of his career, leave Bayern Munich to return to Arsenal, Mikel Arteta and Europa League football? That's not a dig. It's not an attack. I know some of the weaker gooners out there won't be able to handle even that question. The question is there for you to answer as opposed to cry about. I think if Arsenal make him a, a substantial offer, paying big, big money, it is absolutely doable. But it goes back to, to one thing. Arsenal fans demanding their club act right. Aston Villa have just signed Carlos and Kamara. 175 and 200,000 pound a week. Gerard may play a part in why they want to be there, but the salary is even more important. Players want to be paid the going rate. Serge Gnabry is ranked as one of the very best attacking inside forwards in the world. If Arsenal want him, Arsenal fans have got to demand their club drops his PR nonsense about lowering wage bills, Net spend, blah. I can't even listen. Even hearing the word net spend makes my makes me want to push my kidney through my backside. Why are these big clubs even worrying about this stuff? Spend your money, buy the right players, pay adequate salary, keep your players happy, build great teams. This is what needs to happen. Simple and as straightforward as that. But Gnabry to Arsenal trending again. Something the Gooners want. Something that is loosely linked by the media. Can you see that happening? Listen, I want your thoughts and I want your feelings on these transfer stories. Mane leaving. What are Liverpool going to do to respond? Harry Kane, he's the guy for me. You've got to make it happen. All the other stories we've kind of linked with titling along the bottom. I'd like your comments and your thoughts and feelings on them. But until next time, my friends, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And we'll see you all soon. Thank you.